Hi everybody, this is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Welcome to another live stream. And yes, I am with you once again on a Sunday afternoon because this is Live English. Do, 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 do. I think we are a little bit late today. Oh, I'm very sorry for being late, but I do have an excuse. Oh, wait a minute. I actually don't have an excuse. I'm very sorry about that. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Are you happy? Well, are you happy today? I really, really hope so. The flies are biting me. I am being eaten alive by the insects in my garden. I hope you are feeling great today and you are going to have a good time learning English right now. Yes, we are here once again. I hope you've had a good weekend. Did you see me yesterday? Yes, I was here on YouTube yesterday and now I am back. You can catch me all over the place, all over the place. These are the live times, Saturday, 12 midday UK time and also Sunday, 2 p.m. UK time, which is what we are doing right now. And don't forget also every Wednesday there is a new full English lesson as well oh my goodness i i can't believe that i'm doing all of this can i just say that i have lost a lot of weight over the past seven or eight weeks so over the past eight weeks i have lost quite a lot of weight and that's because i've been busy doing this also you can get in touch with me a lot of people asking where is your facebook page there you can see now the address for the facebook page and also my email address and if you want to make a donation you can make a donation to my paypal or if you want you can do it right here on the super chat so that is the housework out of the way can i say a big thank you to my lovely donators i did just mention my paypal and there you can see my lovely paypal 
donations that I've received recently from Federico, also Mikal, Sujin, Petros and also VJ as well. Thank you very much for your recent donations. I am very pleased that you are enjoying my lessons so much that you've made some donations. Thank you very much for that. I do appreciate it. That, of course, will allow my work to continue forever and ever and ever. And a big thank you also to my lovely, loyal Patreon supporters. Mika, Ding, Andrew, also Julie, Anna and Oleg. So thank you very much for your lovely donations that I've received. I receive those every month through Patreon. So thanks a lot. Due to your help, I am able to do this twice a week. I can now give my time for free twice a week. And there is a new full English lesson every Wednesday. Can I just say that I spend every moment of my life doing this? So when I'm not here presenting my live streams, I am somewhere in the house writing or filming or editing. So I'm always doing something and quite often it is connected to doing this. So I do thank you very much for your lovely donations. It does help. It helps me to repair my equipment. If you were watching yesterday, you might have seen me repairing one of my cameras. I had some new cable delivered yesterday and now that is working very nicely. So the pictures that you are receiving today are thanks to your, your donations. Thank you very much. We are talking about a lot of things today. Of course, yesterday was a big anniversary. Do you know what the big anniversary was yesterday? There was a big anniversary. A lot of people talking about that famous one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. We landed on the moon 50 years ago yesterday. Of course, there are some people who think that it never really happened. There are conspiracy theories surrounding the moon landing. So some people think that it didn't really happen. They think that it was all just filmed in a studio. And in fact, the United States didn't go to the moon. I'm not sure what you think, but I believe it. I think it looks pretty realistic. You can't see the strings. You can't see the strings. That's what I say. <laughs> Let's have a look at the live chat. Oh, my goodness, it's so busy already. I can't believe how busy it is. Hello to everyone. Alam Gia. Hello, Alam Gia. You are first on the live chat. So can I just offer you my my big applause? <laughs> Thank you, Alam Gia. You are first on the live chat today. Also, we have Malanoa. Hello to you, Martha. Martha in Poland. Martha Poland says hello. I haven't seen you for a long time. Where have you been? Welcome back. Now, I do understand that many of you might be busy over the weekend. So I do understand if sometimes you can't join me live. So I am a very understanding chat really honestly despite what other people say Huang is here Olga hello Olga nice to see you here as well Anna scholar so Anna I, I'm sorry I can't read your name Anna Soloskosi was I near there I hope so hello and good afternoon from Italy <laughs> Olga. Hello, Olga, watching in Moscow. A big privet to you. Also, Massimo is here on the live chat. Alam Gia, nice to see you again. Also, Hiroko Tani, who is watching in Malaysia. It is a country I know very well. I've been to Malaysia many times. Talking of holidays, a lot of people have asked, Mr. Duncan, can we see some of the video clips from your time in Portugal?
because I was in Portugal a few weeks ago thanks to Mr. Steve's company. Yes, I'm not joking. The company that Mr. Steve works for, they paid for the whole trip. Isn't that nice? And it was a prize because Mr. Steve was working so hard last year. They gave him a super prize and I was able to come along as well. So I, I have been asked to show some footage, some clips from my time in Portugal. So shall we do that now? OK, then I might repeat this later on. But for those who were asking, here are some lovely video clips, some nice views and a nice piece of music to go with my my views from my trip to Portugal. I hope you enjoyed that. Some video clips from my time in Portugal. Yes, I went to Portugal with Mr. Steve a few weeks ago. We had a super time and yes, I didn't lie to you, honestly. Mr. Steve's company paid for the trip as a special prize for Mr. Steve because he was working so hard. There were some lovely views there. Did you see the castle high up in the sky? Moorish Castle it is called and it's very high up can I just let you in on a secret Mr Steve was not very well when we got to the top of the castle Steve was a little bit nervous about the height so Steve doesn't like heights he doesn't like being high up and he doesn't like being on the edge of something high up so Steve was feeling really nervous <laughs> and also did you see the little the little tuk-tuk a tuk-tuk is a kind of taxi. It is a small vehicle. It, it sounds like a motorbike, but in fact, it's a small vehicle. 
and did you see the man driving it he actually gave me a wave did you see that he gave me a lovely little wave which i thought was nice so there you saw a rough cut we call it a rough cut so that is not the finished video that is just something i wanted to show you because a lot of people wanted to see <laughs> my video clips so there you saw some of them on my live stream a lot of people joining me today oh my goodness so many messages andrew said yes it's so nice to see the scooter yes the scooter in thailand they call them tuk-tuks in thailand that's what they call them jamelia is here hello jamelia i haven't seen you for a long time we are outside in the garden the weather is not great the clouds are dark but it's not as windy as yesterday the wind was blowing very strongly <laughs> if you were joining me yesterday my scenery everything was blowing all over the place including me thank you also to belarusia oh hello belarusia nice to see you here today as well i hope you had a great birthday did you get something nice did you have a party i hope so talking of birthdays it will be my birthday in around three weeks time oh dear louis mendez louis mendez moorish castle great view yes it was very high up and that was in a place called sintra which is in portugal yes to be honest with you i i, I before i went to portugal I, I hadn't really thought about going there at all but i must admit i really feel like going back there again because i had such a wonderful time so if you've never been to portugal i suggest maybe going there it was fantastic hello from egypt from mohammed sayed hello to you thanks for joining me on this sunday afternoon just coming up to 20 minutes past two o'clock here in the uk i don't know what time it is where you are because i'm not there the views on your video are fantastic thank you olga really quite a stunning place Alamgia says the castle looks a little bit like Buckingham Palace in London. A tuk-tuk. Yes, you see lots of tuk-tuks in Thailand. But of course, if you go abroad, if you go to Europe, you might see tuk-tuks in places like Paris. I did see some of those in Paris as well. Mr. Steve, d does Mr. Steve suffer from vertigo? yes Anna he does he doesn't like heights he doesn't like being high up on the edge of something and to be honest with you that castle was very high up and the strange thing was we didn't even go to the highest point because Steve didn't want to he was too afraid he was crying and people were gathering around and supporting him saying there 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 don't worry not really Mika is here thank you very much for sharing your video you are welcome it's not a problem 50 years ago yesterday man landed on the moon it would appear that the moon has become very topical again now for many years people virtually forgot all about the moon the only times we ever mentioned the moon is when it changed color or when there was an eclipse but suddenly there is a lot of interest in the moon india is planning to go to the moon china is also planning to go to the moon and also the usa they are also making plans to go to the moon as well cab sack says is it correct to write the ship is loaded the ship came at the deck well that doesn't sound right please can you say something about the operations of ports such as the container ships well i don't know much about that my, my background is not shipping i will be honest with you so i don't know a lot about shipping i know that sometimes large items are carried by sea because it's easier 
also i know that certain commodities such as oil ooh, yes oil now that is in the news at the moment that is actually something that is happening right now as i stand here talking to you a lot of things going on there also this week in the uk something is changing we are having a change have you heard about it we are having a change of leader here in the uk so from tuesday we will actually have a new leader of this country theresa may is saying goodbye and we might have one of two people jeremy hunt or boris johnson now it would appear that at the moment the the favorite to win is boris johnson so we will see what happens so that is a new story that is still waiting to break hello mr duncan i'm living on the eighth floor and i'm not afraid of heights but once my cat dropped down but never mind palmyra are you telling me that your cat fell out of your eighth floor window wow that's not very nice i hope your cat was all right fortunately cats have nine lives it's a shame that humans don't good afternoon good try again good afternoon mr duncan it's really lovely a really lovely country i really hope i can visit portugal one day thank you sally it's very nice to see you as well tone is here also mika mr duncan do you want to go to the moon i'm not sure i think it might be quite boring on the moon i've heard there is no atmosphere <laughs> thank you very much for your messages what do you think about the conspiracy theory that man never landed on the moon thank you manuel i i don't believe that it was fake i believe it was real it certainly looked real anyway and of course if you look through a telescope you can actually see the old the actual launcher that that sent the uh, the apollo crew back to earth so there so it must be true because <laughs> there is evidence on the surface of the moon <laughs> speaking about the moon some people see a woman's face on the surface of the moon i am one of those who see a face well when i was a child my parents would always say can you see the man in the moon because when you look at the moon it looks a little bit like a human face so yes I also used to think that when I was a child some people believe that the moon is made of cheese Tuam says I adore your adorable hat thank you very much for that I am wearing a different t-shirt today I thought today I would wear something different so I'm wearing a different t-shirt hello engineer Assam also Jamelia says stunning pictures from Portugal and I love your t-shirt by the way do you mean the one I'm wearing now so this t-shirt was something I bought a few months ago one of Steve's friends had some t-shirts that were given to him and so he sold them he sold them they were brand new but they were discontinued and so I bought this t-shirt for myself i think it looks rather cheerful and colorful as you know i like to wear colorful clothes and this is no exception hello from sudan hello to eshraga eshraga nice to see you here today live on the live chat don't forget if you have a computer in front of you you can press the c button for captions so you can actually have captions live on the live stream isn't that amazing thank you youtube thank you very much for giving me live captions isn't that nice so you can see them right now mr duncan i bet your garden is better than the moon yes i think so i think the moon might be a little bit more dusty i think so i am so glad to be back here hello tomek where have you been i haven't seen you 
for a long time where have you been is it right to say the ship is loaded or the ship came at the deck I think if if a ship is full we can say that it is loaded so if a ship has things inside it if it is carrying cargo we can say that it is loaded loaded so that shows that the ship actually has things on it it is taking things it is carrying cargo and of course cargo is the word that describes the thing that the ship is carrying so the cargo might be cars the cargo might be oil are you from london asks toan me i'm not from london i'm a long long way from london can you see there is no houses of parliament there are no cars no people no london eye it's just me and nature so no i'm not in london i'm a long way from london i'm in a place called much wenlock which is not very far away from wales and of course you can see i'm in the countryside do you know brazil Raylene hello Raylene Raylene Cardim do you know Brazil I've heard of Brazil I have a lot of viewers a lot of students my internet connection is awful today says Pedro hello Pedro I didn't see you yesterday but welcome today it's nice to see you back on the live chat for a Sunday Saturday and Sunday I am here you can catch me on Saturday and Sunday look at that 12 p.m. midday and also 2 p.m. on Sunday UK time and full English coming on Wednesday I can't believe it I am such a busy bee these days hello from Rimini Rimini Beach Orietta hello Orietta I hope I pronounce your name right nice to see you here today on the live stream yes I am live now broadcasting to you from England mr. Duncan if you want to see a very good Moorish architecture you must visit Granada in South Spain oh okay then yes I must admit well that castle that I saw the castle that I showed you earlier is actually a thousand years old can you believe it a thousand years that castle has been standing there amazing Irene says you always ignore me mr. Duncan I am so sad Irene can I just say that I don't ignore people but sometimes I I miss you on the live chat because the live chat moves very quickly so don't worry I'm not ignoring you so hello to Irene come on Eileen or should I say Irene I hope I pronounce your name right there is it right is it correct to write the ship came at the deck I've never heard of that expression although it might be a technical phrase it might be a phrase that is specifically for shipping but as far as I can tell it is not grammatically correct how can I use the correct words to explain or express my feelings or thoughts because I read English books and I know new words but I think it's the same meaning for example rage and anger yes of course in English there are many words that have a similar definition so we call them synonyms so a synonym is a word that has a similar definition to another word and your example is correct so we might have rage Arr. anger Arr. info info nishad says how are you i'm not too bad today i'm feeling quite good even though yesterday i was doing my live stream and i wasn't feeling very well because my hay fever 
was being a pain in the neck it really was when is the best age to start teaching children a second language thank you Ismail for your question that's very interesting I would say as early as possible in fact sometimes the earlier the better I remember when I was in China I used to teach kindergarten so one of the many classes that I used to teach was kindergarten and these little kids would turn up four years old and can I just say they are very easy to teach <laughs> they remember things so easily their little brains are like sponges they soak up everything you say and everything you teach them so easily so I would always have quite an easy time when I was teaching the very young children to be honest and my lovely Chinese assistant would always help me out if there was a problem if they didn't understand what I was trying to explain my lovely assistant would help so yes it was always an easy thing to do because the children would remember things so easily and quickly <laughs> the real problem was the adults to be honest some of them were very lazy in fact what is the difference between dinner and supper that <laughs> is a brilliant question <sighs> do you want me to answer it I think you do dinner can be lunch or it can be your evening meal which is cooked S supper quite often is a late meal so if you if you have your meal late in the evening we will often call that supper supper so quite often we break our meals into three categories breakfast lunch or dinner and then in the evening you will have your evening dinner or we can say dinner some people also say supper as well so yes it can be a little bit of an awkward one to explain that one Kathy cat hello mr. Duncan I was knackered yesterday <laughs> that's a great word by the way knackered if you are knackered it means you are tired out you are feeling so exhausted you are knackered <laughs> I fell asleep whilst watching your live stream a lot of people find that to be honest it happens to a lot of people they, they often put my live stream on so they can fall asleep it helps a lot of people get to sleep my live stream <laughs> do you want to visit Brazil one day yes I would like to go to Brazil I would like to do more traveling definitely the only problem is getting on a plane is very expensive so that's the big thing that holds me back Adarsh says hello sir I am Adarsh and I'm from India hello to you as well nice to see you here on the live stream I'm here every weekend you can see me right here live on YouTube you can listen to my English you can read the English on the screen with the subtitles and also you can chat to me live isn't technology amazing now a lot of people ask mr. Duncan you've been on YouTube for 13 years what was YouTube like when you first started well can I just say everything was very basic so this is what we used to do on YouTube in 2006 hello 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 this is mr. Duncan calling on the YouTube on the YouTube Ahoy hoy, ahoy hoy. Ahoy hoy. Hello. So that's what YouTube used to be like. In 2006, you have to you had to have one of these. So this is the way you made your videos in 2006. But look now. It's incredible. We don't need this anymore. We can throw this away now we have all of this lovely modern technology isn't that lovely did you love teaching children I did enjoy it because a lot of people think that I am a bit of a child myself 
I don't know why, but they say I am quite immature. In fact, one day, can I tell you a story about something that happened in China? <laughs> I know a lot of people say, Mr. Duncan, you always talk about China. But I, I did have some wonderful experiences there. One day, a journalist came to my school and they wanted to write an article about the school in general. And they bought, they brought with them some children. That I think it was their kids. And, and the, the, the kids were fascinated by me because, of course, I wasn't Chinese. I was one of those strange Lawais. So they, they, were, they were talking to me and then I was playing and being silly. And then one of the journalists came over to me and started asking questions about my work. And then the following week, they printed this huge newspaper article all about me and my work in China. So I don't know how it happened, but it did happen a lot in China. One moment I was standing there minding my own business and the next moment I was on television <laughs> talking to millions of people. Very strange. So to answer your question, yes, I did. I, I did enjoy teaching children. I enjoyed teaching people of all ages, to be honest. Louis, Louis Munoz asks what do you think of bird watching i think bird watching is great fun i do it myself for those who have seen some of my very early videos i used to film the birds all the time sometimes you might see the birds in my recorded lessons as well mr duncan you look very handsome wearing your hat <laughs> thank you very much i wear the hat to keep my head warm because my brain gets very cold sometimes and then it stops working. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to visit Vietnam? I've always been very fascinated by Vietnam and I know that I have a lot of people watching in Vietnam. Hello to Caesar. Hello Caesar watching in Mexico. A big hello to you. You must have been an amazing teacher for the children. I'm sure you were loved by them. Thank you, Kathy. Yes, I became quite popular with the, the younger classes. Uh, I don't know why, but I think it's because I was a, a native speaker. So because I was a native English speaker, and of course I was English, and my English is very clear, a lot of people wanted me to teach them, including the parents. And that's one of the things I did notice about Chinese parents. They are very strict when it comes to their children learning new things. They are very strict. I think it is time that you went back to the studio. Well, my studio at the moment is outside, Pedro. It's outside. I'm enjoying this, even though the, the flies keep biting me on my legs and other places what is the weather like today it is cool but apparently tomorrow it's going to get very hot here 30 degrees tomorrow and on Tuesday they think it might be around 34 34 degrees on Tuesday that's hot really I think my brain will melt do you ever feel like visiting Canada? Hamira. Hello, Hamira. I, I actually know someone who's gone to live in Canada. Mr. Steve's nephew is now living in Canada and really enjoying life there. I have heard some really nice things about Canada. Apparently, it is a very nice place to live. That's what I've heard. Mm, 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 mm. Today we are talking about words and phrases to do with picture. The word picture. And there you can see picture, phrases and idioms. So that is what we are going to look at today for the rest of the lesson. And of course, I will be chatting to you as well. Louise. Oh, thank you very much for your photographs. Louis Mendez, thank you very much for your photographs 
of your holiday in Pornic a very interesting name Pornic and it does look very nice I did see the pictures that you sent of the beach a lot of people sunbathing on the beach so thank you Lewis and I hope you are enjoying your time on the coast Mr Duncan are you interested in politicians and politics I am interested but sometimes you have to be careful what you say so there is there is a well-known phrase that is never talk about religion or politics you must be very careful sometimes when you are talking about those particular subjects but yes to answer your question I am very interested in politics I think at the moment we are living through a very interesting time both overseas and also here in the UK in fact everything is changing on Tuesday we are going to have a new leader on Tuesday so oh we haven't had a view yet yes let's have a look at the view so there it is the view looking over into the distance I forgot to do it how could I forget the lovely view so there for those asking where I am you can see that I'm in the countryside and there is the view behind me and you can see there are no cars no buses no underground no big London Eye no houses of Parliament it's lovely and quiet all you can hear are the birds and me <laughs> I'm not sure which is worse really so there you go please what did you study at school well I, can I just tell you at school I was very good at English you might be surprised to hear that <laughs> but I was very good at, at English the, the the actual subject that I was bad at was maths I was terrible at maths really Kathy asks do British people discuss politics or is it taboo Ooh, I like that word if something is taboo it means it should not be talked about or discussed some people like to talk about politics I think generally everyone is interested in politics to a certain degree so some people like politics a little bit they like to watch the news and find out about what's happening in the world other people are really crazy about politics they enjoy talking about it all the time Jamelia makes a very good point it looks like teaching in China has been a priceless experience for you Mr Duncan I think so I learned so many things about other people human nature and of course about myself during my four years in China so yes it was an amazing experience and one I will never forget how can I put this statement in the correct form the ship came at the deck I, I don't know what you mean I don't know what you're trying to explain there or what you're trying to say the ship came at the deck maybe you need you mean the level the level but I'm not quite sure what the the context of that sentence is grow up grow up oh hello again I haven't seen you for a long time either I was terrible at maths or I was terrible at maths you can say that you are you were terrible at maths I'm no good at maths I'm no good at maths so we don't say in maths we say at I was terrible at maths at school Tuam says are you happy to be famous you mean me I'm not sure if I'm famous I never I never think that I'm famous <laughs> because when you watch YouTube there are many people on YouTube who are very famous really really famous so I don't think I'm the same as them to be honest so I don't think I am the same as them a lot of people last week were talking about cricket 
and I've always been very fascinated by cricket but I don't really understand the game there is one part of cricket that always confuses me and sometimes I hear a certain thing shouted owls that owls that owls that what does that mean owls that and why do they shout it politics is life but some politicians are corrupt I suppose so yes you can find corruption everywhere in life even in everyday situations you might find a certain type of corruption taking place famous these stupid trending youtubers are not worth a single cent well they are worth probably millions <laughs> but I'm not did you study maths well when you were at high school no no I was terrible at maths I was really bad at mathematics engineer says you are a very well-known person many of the people all over the world are watching you now don't say that I'll get all shy I'll become shy <laughs> oh I see you are asking the ship came at the I think the word you are trying to explain there is dock d o c k so when a ship goes into the harbor or into the port it will dock dock so the ship will come into the harbor or it, it will slowly go into the port and then it will dock so that means it will go to a certain place and stop it's a bit like parking a car when you park a car <laughs> you park your car so when you park your ship you dock you dock so the dock is the place that you go to to unload your cargo or to receive cargo and the thing that you are doing you are docking you dock so it can be used as a noun and a verb as well sometimes I have nightmares I dream about having a maths exam I hate maths as well so in British English we normally say maths maths in American English they say math math so there is a difference between the pronunciation of that word maths British English math American English I sometimes have nightmares about sitting in an exam and I have no clothes on I'm naked completely naked what does that mean maybe I've shared too much information with you there I think so so let's have a look at some words now to do with picture some phrases that we are going to look at today so let's have a look at the first one I hope you don't mind oh here's a nice happy one so here is the first one picture of health picture of health a picture of health it is a phrase that means to look healthy and well you appear fit and in good shape you look the picture of health I didn't know he was ill he always looked the picture of health to me I didn't know he was ill he always looked the picture of health to me picture of health so there is an interesting phrase that uses the word picture of course a picture can be any image it can be a painting it can be a drawing it might be the thing you see when you watch the television it can also be a photograph so the thing you are looking at now is a picture but of course it is a moving picture another one now 
Oh, this is so lovely and romantic. So this is something you might say when you are feeling in love, when you are feeling very romantic. You might say a picture paints a thousand words. That means the image observed can mean so many things. The thing you are looking at can have so many meanings. A picture paints a thousand words. And there is a song as well. If a picture paints a thousand words, then how can I paint you? Oh, if. A very famous song called If. And that is a line from the song. If a picture paints a thousand words, then why can't I paint you? The words, they all come true. <laughs> Something like that. I'm not a very good singer. I apologise. Oh, hello to Roberto. Hello, Roberto Rodriguez. Watching in Brazil. I know I have a lot of people watching in Brazil. I am always very jealous of people who are good at mathematics. I always feel slightly envious of people who are good at maths. Helena. Helena is here. Oh, hello, Helena. Nice to see you today. I know that only four countries play cricket. Is that right? Yes, I think that might be right. <laughs> As you can tell, I don't know much about cricket. I don't follow cricket. But I do remember that whenever I watch a cricket match, sometimes they will shout, How's that? How's that? What does that mean? How's that? If by Telly Savalis. Yes, Kojak. He was an actor with a bald head. And he would always suck on a lollipop. Yes, Telly Savalis. Although he wasn't singing, he was talking. So he doesn't actually sing the song. It is actually a very old song. <laughs> do women play cricket? Yes, they do. There are women's cricket teams in the UK. I don't know about anywhere else, but there are some countries that are well known for their cricket skills. I suppose you might mention India, Pakistan and here as well. Hello to Anna. Nice to see you here. I do like it when people say hello to each other on the live chat. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. Hello to Palmyra from Alamgir. Not only four countries play cricket. There are a lot of countries that play cricket. Well, I suppose I mean professionally. So I only know of maybe three countries. So India, Pakistan and the UK. But I'm sure there are other countries as well. I think they might play cricket in the USA. I think so. <laughs> Lena is watching my live stream on the toilet. What? What? What are you doing? Does it help you? Is my live stream helping you to have your live stream? <laughs> what are the differences between phrases and sentences? Well, a phrase is something that has a certain meaning. It is contained within that sentence. It has a specific meaning, whereas a sentence can explain things or describe things. It can be many different things. So a sentence is just a general thing that is being said or written. I was good at maths, but I am jealous of people who can easily speak because I'm not a talkative person. I see. Well, I'm jealous of people who can do mathematics. I, I think it's amazing especially those really clever people who can do it in their head. They don't even need a calculator. It's not fair. Another picture phrase. Oh, 
here's another nice I've noticed something a lot of these phrases are nice phrases they're lovely and here is another one right now isn't that nice oh you look as pretty as a picture isn't that nice pretty as a picture this is a compliment that is given to show that someone looks attractive you look as pretty as a picture as <laughs> wow you look as pretty as a picture today you look as pretty as a picture today isn't that nice so there another phrase using the word picture and I was quite surprised to find that there are many there are actually quite a few in fact I have a strange feeling I, I might miss some of them out hello to Tanu hello Tanu Tanu says we were defeated in the cricket semi-final by the Netherlands I don't know much about cricket all I know is that sometimes they shout owls that owls that <laughs> is anyone going to tell me what it means <laughs> and why they say it hello to Sao San Sao Sain Sarah hello to you I know that you have started to watch my live streams regularly for which I thank you very much can you use that as a pickup line ah I suppose so yes I suppose you could say oh hello there can I just say you look as pretty as a picture you look beautiful you are saying that someone looks attractive maybe your daughter is going off to prom night and she's wearing a beautiful dress you might say oh dear oh darling my lovely daughter you you look as pretty as a picture in Spain we know nothing about cricket well maybe I should move to Spain hi mr. Duncan you look as pretty as a picture today thank you Bruno oh <laughs> I'm getting embarrassed now thank you what a lovely compliment Libra says hello Mr. Duncan I am from Indonesia do you know Indonesia I've heard of Indonesia yes of course I know it I have a lot of people watching in Indonesia I have a lovely young lady called Tias who watches quite often from can you please show again the picture Hamiz Hamira which picture do you want to see please tell me the picture that you would like to see are you a fan of tennis Mr. Duncan I don't really play much sport I'll be honest with you I don't I don't play much sport oh I see Sagwamandu Sagwamandu says the word you mentioned about cricket sounds like how's that now as I understand it they they will shout how's that when someone is out so maybe the ball will hit the uh, the things the things that stick up I think they're called stumps <laughs> as you can tell I know nothing about cricket I don't they wouldn't let me play cricket at school they said I was too fragile I'm not joking mr. Duncan can we say that your garden looks like a picture yes you could you could say that yes it, your your garden looks as pretty as a picture if something is attractive you can say it is as pretty as a picture it's three o'clock everyone three o'clock already I can't believe it so what which picture do you want to see again can you show the picture again which picture I don't know which picture you are talking about hello from Alan Fernando hello Alan is it your first time here 
If it is, please let me know. Kathy, Mr. Duncan, I don't understand the phrase. A picture paints a thousand words. Would you mind giving another example? We can say that one thing can mean many things to many people. So maybe a thing that is seen or maybe something that is viewed can have many different meanings. Or maybe it is something that brings many different emotions to your mind. So a picture paints a thousand words. There are many ways to express something that looks beautiful or attractive. You have a really nice view there. Thank you, Alan. And also, thank you very much to Alan Fernando Acosta Valdez. I love your name, by the way. Oh, Alan says it's my first time here on the live chat. So I think that deserves a round of applause. Well done. Thank you, Alan. And welcome. Welcome to the live stream. I am now covered, covered in flies. There are flies all over me and they're biting me. Doesn't feel very good. <laughs> the live chat is very busy today, as it always is on, on a Sunday. It's always busy on a Sunday. For those asking where Mr. Steve is, he's not here. He's not actually here today. He's gone away, actually. He's not here at all. Here's another one. When you paint a picture, you paint on canvas. So you paint a picture. You paint your picture on canvas. So we can use the phrase a fresh canvas. Fresh canvas. Can you hear the birds? There is a goldfinch just above my head. Can you hear the goldfinch? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Goldfinch. So when we have a fresh canvas, it means to start from fresh or to begin again with a view to improvement. So if you want to improve something or do something again, and get better results you can start with a fresh canvas a fresh canvas let's forget all about our differences and start with a fresh canvas so there is an is a quick example i am being eaten alive by flies they are everywhere tiny little flies called thunderbugs they are everywhere. So a fresh canvas means to start again, to start over, to begin again, normally with a view to improvement or making some sort of improvement. A fresh canvas. Do you know what Molokes Island in Indonesia means in Portuguese, in Portuguese language? These flies are driving me crazy. Do you know what the Mol Molokus Island in Indonesia means in Portuguese? No, I don't know that, Louis. I'm sure you will tell me. I have a phrase. I have a phrase that I need to learn. Molokus Island. What does it mean? Dr. Shambhu Sharma says you are a unique actor. I love your body language. At the time of teaching i always promote your youtube channel thank you very much that's very kind of you i learned native pronunciation through your channel and i am from india that is very kind of you to say I, i'm pleased to hear that you enjoy my lessons i have been doing this for a long time 13 years october the 31st this year will be my 13th anniversary on youtube 13 years I've been doing this. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I have been a fan of yours so far. That's very nice of you to say. So there are quite a few countries that are planning to go to the moon. 
would you like to go to the moon would you like to go into space I'm not sure if I want to because it looks pretty dangerous up there it looks quite dangerous Louis says it means crazy oh apparently the island the island in Indonesia the Molokese Island in Indonesia actually means crazy so that's actually the meaning of it so they call it crazy island <laughs> maybe that's where I should live some people say mr. Duncan you belong on crazy island thank you very much Bukumi says 13 years yes I've been doing this for 13 years on YouTube I started my channel on the 31st of October 2006 when YouTube was really really basic there were no adverts that there were no big companies posting videos it was a very different time a very different time nice to see that Belarusia had a good birthday but did you get anything nice did you have a cake did you have a little drink maybe mm. Mr. Duncan can you please put these words into a sentence now it would appear that you are showing me parts of a boat so I think that these are parts of the boat well first of all the hull is the outer casing so the outside of a boat the metal exterior is the hull normally we we talk about the hull as being the part that sits on the water the hull so it is the part that is on the bottom of the boat the hull then there is the bow and the stern as I understand they are the front and the back and then there is the funnel well funnel just means something that is round or something that tapers so funnel but also the chimney on a boat is also called a funnel so the thing that is on the boat and all the smoke comes from the engine it comes out from the funnel funnel that also can be used as a noun and a verb as well I don't know many other languages I did learn Chinese and also I learned French as well <laughs> mr. Duncan could it be that you hold a grudge against cricket no I don't hate cricket I just don't play it there are many things in life that I don't do but it doesn't mean I hate it tome says I wish I had a great sense of humor like yours well I try my best to be happy every day every day is a new adventure one day I won't be able to do this because I'll be dead hey mr. Duncan how have you been lately we would love it if you could suggest a few good decent English movies there is a very good TV show and there are some some episodes of this show on YouTube called mind your language very funny TV show and it is all about people who are learning English as a second language shall we have another word connected to picture because I will be going soon Wow I can't believe how quickly today's live stream has gone it's gone by so quickly don't you think it's gone quick it's gone fast it's gone so quickly it's gone so quickly here's another one out of the picture if you are out of the picture another phrase that uses the word picture to be out of the picture means to be out of the way and no longer around or involved with things so you are no longer around you are no longer involved with what is happening you are out of the picture you are out of the way and no longer around or involved with things you are out of the picture 
don't worry about my ex-girlfriend turning up she is out of the picture now don't worry about my ex-girlfriend turning up here she is out of the picture now she's no longer around I don't see her anymore she is no longer a part of my life some very good expressions some very good expressions today I must say I think I've done a very good job of finding some some nice useful expressions I want to try some chocolate cake chocolate cookies Belarusia it's not fair you have been eating chocolate cake and chocolate cookies I hope you saved one for me it's great to hear that you had a nice time on your birthday I think so does surety mean confidence surety means that something will happen so if you have surety quite often it means it is destined to happen also you are I suppose confident that it will happen who knows Russian there are a lot of people in Russia watching right now and they know Russian they do Mr Duncan are you fluent in Chinese <laughs> my Chinese is idiandian idiandian which means a little a little not much I hope that answers your question another phrase and then it's almost time to go I can't believe it it's gone so fast today don't you think I hope you're having a good time this weekend and everything is going your way you can picture someone doing something so you can picture someone doing something so this phrase means to imagine a person or a thing in a certain situation or place so you can imagine something you can picture something in your mind if you can picture something in your mind it means you picture it you can picture something in your mind you imagine what it must be like to picture something or to picture someone doing something to imagine a person or a thing in a certain situation or place for example I can still picture the way you looked the night we first met oh isn't that romantic I can still picture the way you looked on the night we first met there you were standing in your lovely red dress and your high-heeled shoes and that beautiful red lipstick unfortunately it was mr. Steve say no more mr. Duncan hola hola says Louis Munoz thank you very much I can picture Belarusia talking Spanish I can picture Belarusia eating chocolate cake and not giving any to me that's what I can picture hello mr. Duncan I hope you're doing well thank you Farah that's very kind of you to say yes I'm doing quite well I always wake up in the morning with a smile on my face I can hear the sounds of the birds and also mr. Steve snoring I'm very well yes it's very kind of you a lot of people asking if I'm okay I am super duper I've never felt better I think YouTube is actually making me fit I think so because I'm be I'm being very busy these days finally before we finish here is our last phrase connected to the word picture the big picture oh the big picture the whole situation and everything involved with it over the long term so the big picture is everything that will happen or might happen now and in the future so everything that involves a certain process or a certain activity or a certain plan it is the big picture 
sometimes you need to use your imagination to see the big picture to see things in its entirety I like that word entirety so there is the last one the last phrase connected to picture the big picture the whole situation and everything involved with it over the long term when we say long term we just mean the future the future or maybe the foreseeable future and that's it that that is all my phrases to do with pictures always mr duncan is very vigorous and we love it i'm very pleased to hear that i am going in a few moments so apparently when the ball hits the stumps they say how's that how's that so at least at least i've learned something today isn't that nice the big picture is the thing the overall thing the thing you are planning to do so you can see the big picture you can see everything that will occur now and later you can see everything that is involved very good that's nice <laughs> alan hello alan again hello alan I can picture myself doing yoga in your back garden I think so there is a lot of space here can you see over there so there is a rather large lawn in the distance and yes I think this would be a very good place to do yoga for two reasons one you have a lot of room to spread yourself out and also it's very quiet here so I think this is a brilliant place so if you want to do some yoga I think I think the, the the lawn in my front garden is a very good place I think you're right mind your language is absolutely hilarious I agree with you it's a very funny show I used to watch that when I was a child so maybe that show kind of inspired me to become an English teacher who knows who knows in this world if you want to get in touch you can you can follow me on Facebook you can also email me and if you want to make a donation it would be lovely to receive your donations to allow my work to continue forever and ever and ever so then I can make more videos more live streams and maybe even do this every day imagine that imagine if I could come on and do this every day <laughs> is that a good idea or not I'm not sure and before I go live lessons Saturday 12 p.m. midday UK time and also Sunday 2 p.m. UK time and yes there will be another full English lesson on Wednesday so all of that to come and my details for my Facebook and email and for the donations as well there are the details now on the screen and now they've gone and very soon I will go as well thanks for your company today thank you Jamelia thank you Twan thank you also to Belarusia also to Louis Francesca Abdu I love so much the natural picture behind you yes it does look rather nice today there is a bad side to this because all of the flies are now coming out because it's very warm and a lot of them are biting me so during today's live stream I have had flies crawling all over my body so I will go now I will have a shower and I will get rid of all the flies <laughs> from my exterior and I will see you again soon next weekend I'm back on Saturday 12 p.m. midday and on Wednesday I am here with my full English lesson as well thanks a lot to Louis thank you also to Martha 
Thank you, Kathy. Thank you very much to Akinator. Hello, Akinator. And also Berlin for you. I will say hello to two more people. Thank you very much to Maria. Maria. I'm saying goodbye to Maria. I will leave you with the video that I showed earlier and you will see some sights of my recent trip to Portugal. I went to Portugal. Mr. Steve's company actually paid for us to go to Portugal. Can you believe it? So I was very grateful. Can I say once again, thank you very much to Mr. Steve's company for giving us such a lovely holiday. Wow, I can't believe it. Hiroko says tata. Martha says goodbye. Louis says see you later. And I will see you later next Saturday, 12 midday, Sunday, 2 p.m. UK time, both days. Thanks for watching. See you later. And of course, you know what's coming next. From the birthplace of the English language, this is Mr. Duncan saying. Ta-ta for now.